And breaking tonight, Carol Vorderman has been forced to delete 22 tweets after she made false claims about the Conservative Party chairman. Vorders continually accused Greg Hands of being involved in the awarding of a multi-million pound PPE contract to Lux Lifestyles during a venomous six-month campaign. But in a humiliating climb down, the former Countdown presenter turned lefty attack dog admitted there was no impropriety from Hands, but stopped short of apologising. So the MP for Chelsea and Fulham responded, saying the truth does matter. After her six-month campaign against me, I welcome Carol Vorderman today deleting 22 tweets and setting the record straight that I had no involvement in the awarding of any PPE contracts. These tweets were defamatory and damaging. An apology would help too. But after her transformation into an anti-Tory activist, should Carol be axed from her weekly BBC Wales radio show for political bias? Dan at GB News. Dot com. Vote in our poll at GB News on Twitter. But an A-list clash now with the panto legend, Christopher Biggins, TV firebrand hey, Kim Danny, Woodburn, and the social commentator Jenny Barnett. Biggins, great to see you. Look, the thing I don't understand here, Biggins, is Vorders can think whatever she wants, she can say whatever she wants, but not while she's a presenter on the BBC, Biggins. She's got to go, doesn't she, after this? I couldn't agree more. And nowadays we're in a situation where none of us can say anything. So you have to really think about what you're saying. And if she's going to continue to say these things and not apologize as she should do, then she should be ch chastised and she should leave the, the BBC and she should leave the job. Jenny Barnett, surely that's the case. Carol Vorderman has freedom of speech, but she can't make egregious claims like this while working at the BBC, Jenny. program no spins no bias no censorship good girl i'll and get you to record a voiceover for that <laughs> money <laughs> i'll take it uh, the truth is though that there's a demonization of people who don't agree with what's going on and we've become so polarized and i agree with biggin here is that people don't know what to say when to say it how to say it I think we're in a dreadful situation. And no, she's opened the door for free speech, for people like me to say what I want, people like you to say what I want. But she's lied, want. Jenny. And she's lied. She's made defamatory claims. It was a lie, a big fat oh, lie. How do we know? I don't know. There's well, a demonization she 22 of tweets? Why she issued a well, clarification? Well, that's what I... I wonder why. I wonder why there has been a deletion of this, where she's been pushed, who's pushed her, why. And I think she and Gary Lineker are standing by their principles and people like me are still allowed to speak my truth like they are Well, theirs. not on the BBC, you're not. No offence. No offence, but not if you're a BBC presenter, you're not. I mean, Kim Woodburn... Isn't that the difference here? The BBC is meant to be an impartial broadcaster, Kim. Absolutely. You hit it on the head. Carol of Orderman, as you like, eye on the hog, but I love. Uh, I, thought, no, I thought I was you, speaking. You yourself. No, Carol of Orderman is an eye on the hog for a long time. And I'll tell you something about her. She's supposed to have an IQ. Before, Oh, yeah, Kim, just sit forward a little, Kim. Kim, lean forward a little, can you? Because we're just struggling to hear you. But if you lean forward, there you go. That's better, Kim. Just lean forward and then we'll hear you. Keep going, Kim. Sorry. Carol Foreman should lose her job. She's become a dictator. She's gone on for too long. But something she did last month that thoroughly irritated me at the Vietnam vet. She thoroughly aggravates me. She has no right to to suggest that that MP was in any way giving that gentleman that contract for, shall we say, favours. Favours indicating money or favours indicating favours. It was a disgusting thing to do. And I'll tell you something, it won't be forgotten. When you're an MP and these things, you know, turn up, people will always say, oh, that's the guy she accused of fiddling, if you like. She had no right to do it. She's got far too big for her boots as our Carol. Far too big. She really has. She's made remarks lately on that television channel that have been appalling and she shouldn't get away with it. Yes, she should be fired. Come down to earth, Carol. If I can be very quick, I felt very strongly about something she did last month. I was appalled. There was a, a lovely man called Johnny Mercer. 
who was in the army. He went to Sandhurst. He passed out of Sandhurst. He became an army captain. He served in Afghanistan. He was a special forces and he did three tours of Afghanistan. And for that, my love, he made the minister for veterans. And yeah. she turned around, that silly bitch turned around and said, he should have been an veteran. Because, she said, he should have had a degree. Stupid well, Kim, Kim. Well, of course, look, I don't think we should throw insults, Kim, but that's your opinion. Okay. Jenny Barnett, your response. <laughs> Well, I think that, that I, I mean, Biggins, I love you. We've loved each other for years and years. What I want to say is done. this. We have. We have. That having a conversation, discourse is vital to our country. And yeah. Kim, when you throw those kind of insults, you did it to Phil, Philip Schofield, you did it to Prince Harry. It's cheap. It's cheap. It may be that you call it's it deep. deep. I call it the truth. She opted against your Philip truth. Schofield. It is your truth. Biggins, step in. What do you no, think? Biggins, you come in. You come in here, Biggins. Come in here, Biggins. No, I, I, I agree with you. I, I agree with you. I think sometimes you do say things which you shouldn't be saying because you know we all love Harry, and we all love other things that you don't like, and we have to have our opinions. Yeah. I don't dislike Who's Harry. She is. Well, I, I think that I think that people like Gary Lineker and people like Carol Vorderman, because the mainstream have been told that they are wrong and they shouldn't be talking, they are being demonised. Oh, Jenny, and don't be ridiculous. Win. Would I ever be hired to present a show on the BBC, Jenny? No. Would Nigel Farage <laughs> ever be hired to host a show on the BBC, Jenny? No. Would Jacob Rees-Mogg ever be hired God to host a show on the BBC? Is all I can say. No. And you know why? Because we're people of the centre-right. And so... People of the centre left, or I would say in the case of Carol Vorderman these days, the hard left, why do they get that privilege, Kim? It's completely unfair. Why did she try to ruin that politician's uh, life? Yes. You know what she said about well, Like him. you tried to ruin Philip Schofield. Like you tried to ruin the people that you demonise. Excuse me. When I went on his show, you're talking to your backside. When I went on his show, I was terribly sad. I had everybody agreed I'd yeah. be given a terrible thing in there. Philip Schofield sat on that set and he sniggered at me and he said, well, why did you go in then? He's a little... We're not he's... talking about Philip well, Schofield. in fairness, Jenny, about... in fairness, Jenny, you <laughs> raised <laughs> Philip. Kim Don't didn't raise, raise Philip. You, ra you raised Philip. I did. I admit that. And so I take Kim's just responding. But look, we, we're not talking about Philip Schofield. We're talking about Carol Vorderman. Personally, I think this is clear cut. Uh, final word, Kim? Well, if Carol Vorderman, she's gone, Matt. She's nutty, dear, isn't she? I mean, mm. my What's God, you to her? She used to she be quite nice. She walks in, uh, behind, in front of you, talks like a bum's two pigs fighting in a sack. With a Kim! Fish. It's not about the size of a person's bottom. Well, you've got to admit, she's always talking about that, Jenny. But look, fascinating debate. Uh, sorry about the tech issues. I feel like I'm on a ship. Carol. And if you're not prepared to tell the truth, don't come on. Jenny Barnett, Kim Woodfin, Christopher Biggins, I love all three of you, but who do you agree with on this? That's Carol Vorderman at Mitt's Conservative Party, Jim and Greg Hans at no part in the awarding of a £25 million plus PPE contract. Should she be axed by the BBC? Well, Alan, via Twitter writes, the BBC are built around political bias these days. Just look at how fast they moved on from the Gary Lineker episode. They love employing loudmouth lefties like Vorderman because, of course, they harbour the same views. Here, here. Uh, Diane writes... I think it would be nice if she actually gave him a personal apology. She needs to make sure she knows what she's talking about before opening her mouth in the future. And Diane, I can tell you that because she's told a lot of lies about me, this woman. And Angela on Twitter writes, Carol failed to fact check something a competent journalist should always do. Her personal agenda took precedence over professional standards. Her position is untenable. And I guess maybe, Angela, that's because Carol Waterman is not a journalist. Your verdict now in 78% of you agree that Vorders should be axed by the BBC. 22% of you say she should stay in the post.